So we have another hands-on treehouse build and design workshop. Clinton, Connecticut, September 10th, 2016. RelaxShacks.com for details. Hey, what's up? I'm Deke from RelaxShacks.com. Tiny House Jamboree 2016, Colorado Springs with one of the more attention-grabbing houses of the whole festival. Here with Greg from the TinyHouseCompany.com. Hello everybody, here we are. Uh, we're looking at our model, the Mount Sentero. Uh, we can walk into this one. This is a, a neat model where we put some metal siding on it, some tongue and groove cedar siding on it. We've got decks on both ends of the unit. Uh, we use a high quality standing seam roof on a custom made trailer. Uh, let's go ahead and go inside. Greg, what are the overall you know, size, dimension, specs of this? Well, right now we're sitting at 12 foot wide and 38 feet, or 44 feet long, wow. 32 feet of living space. Uh, so we've got 384 square feet of living space on the lower level. We have 155 square foot loft. We have a separate bedroom in the back. Uh, and a heck use, of a bathroom too, I noticed. Yeah, we have a, a great size yeah, bathroom, oh yeah. enough, enough room to get around. We could put a walk around bathtub in there or a, a double, double shower. Um, we use all full-size high-end appliances. We put a fireplace in this one, double heat pump with head units on both sides, and, the, and an AV system with stereo and TVs that all ties together and runs off your cell phone. It's a, it's just, a really neat setup. To sum it up, you're not messing around. <laughs> no, we're not messing around. We're really trying to hit the luxury high-end yeah. market. Um, we, we've kept it simple, kept it clean, kept it modern. We focused on high-end everything. Uh, we did do steel frame on this one, spray foam insulation. We have an R value of 42 on this unit. Um, let's go ahead and start. Yeah, let's inside. go inside because yeah. they're just firing up the generators here. I want to show that core 10 steel real quick because that's what brought me over. I love that stuff. Like the flooring right from the get go here. Well, here we are coming inside. Uh, we tried to keep it as open as possible with windows everywhere. Uh, we have a TV system in here that ties back to the TV in the rear bedroom. Uh, we walk forward here, we have the double door in the front. This will be a nice big porch. Um, we didn't get the railing on for the show yet. This is a last minute deal here, but we'll have a railing all the way around, somewhere you can put a barbecue grill, lights, speakers on the outside. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, we- this, I mean, this girder right here, this is serious we too. We slide the stereo into yeah. everything, so. And this is a, I mean, a lot of tiny houses will throw a porch in the back, almost for the aesthetic sake, this is a usable porch or deck, but on both ends too. It is, it is. It'll have a cable rail system and then a set of stairs going off the front and off the back. Oh, all right. Um, we figured that you can have a little bit of privacy off the back bedroom if that's what you're looking for. And this is more of a gathering area. It makes your, expands your living area oh, hell all yeah. the way out to the deck here. Yeah. We check out that bathroom in the kitchen yeah, too let's because go ahead. I think people are going to like this bathroom. Now here's a loft going up there. The loft is big enough for three twin beds, and that comes around the corner here to the bathroom. Uh, we use all barn doors. You know what we don't have going is the, we don't have our lights going lights. yet. I'll throw some B-roll photos yeah, in, Greg. I mean, don't worry. We'll do that. Um, walk through full-size refrigerator, full-size stove, uh, convection. Here we go. We got lights. Nice. <laughs> now that's service. Yep, that's service. So here's our bathroom. I'll be going there and just take a full shot. And I want to th thank uh, Greg on the side here because you guys are still setting up. It's early morning, grounds haven't opened, so thank you for letting us peek around here, i got to add. Uh, I'm sorry, if you said what's the square footage of this bathroom itself? I don't remember. Um, it's big. 48. It's, yeah, big. it's big. It's big. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. walk through, we have a washer and dryer full setup stackable. And then coming into the bedroom, we've got another sliding barn door. That's a nice. Uh, AV system ties into the TV back here, a nice fan, head unit with the heat pump system, so we have our air conditioning and our heater running through the same system. Up over here. Yep, this is our access panels for our hot water heater and utilities. Okay. Nice and, ceiling uh, fan too. Yep. We got the height so to is, do it. This is the master bedroom, if you will. Yeah. <laughs> it's got some nice, home, that's it's got some nice windows. Space. Yeah, you don't, you don't see those ever. Yeah. Yep. And then uh, you come out to the back porch, there's a private deck off of the bedroom. Okay. Um, it was just a little sitting area back here. So. Yeah, we're the tiny Dot home. Com. Co. 
Co.com. Co. So, yeah, Co. Tiny Home. The Tiny Home. Co.com. So is this just a show model? Do you have a buyer for this one already, or? Well, I built this one for myself. I built it for oh. 1,500 foot elevation and put on some property up in the mountains. This one is for sale. I ended up. I'm getting so much attention for it, I think I'm just going to keep building it. Now I got to ask, this is actually the first quadruple axle tiny house and wheels I've seen. What do you pull this thing with? Well, this one we use a mobile home hauler to haul this one around. Oh, I gotcha. They come, they, put, hit, they pick it up, they um, took about two and a half minutes to hook up yesterday, and about two and a half minutes to drop it off yesterday. That's so it, all right. It was we were taking guesses, deal. I'm like, I don't know, an army tank? You yeah, know? no, yeah. <laughs> we moved it in, I met the guy in the morning, we had it over here within 45 minutes, he unhooked and was out of here, so. Gotcha. Real simple, easy deal. It does take a wide load permit. Uh, somebody that has something that can tow about 25,000 pounds is the weight of this unit. So yeah. Hard and sweet generator sounds. Yeah, the generators are yeah. firing up everywhere. So. Everyone, everyone's setting up now, so I want to grab Greg before he got too busy. Yesterday, uh, you had quite the line here. It's been a popular it was spot. A, it yeah. was a full show yesterday. Yeah, they're coming in one door and out the other all day long. So. Yeah.